Hello everyone, my name is Pritham Paul and welcome to my YouTube channel. So here in this video, I will be talking about the comma operator within while loop. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that every video could be reached to you. I have seen that many of you guys watch the videos without pressing the subscribe button. Approximately more than 50% viewers do not subscribe the channel. So please guys uh, do subscribe the channel and uh, press the bell icon so that every video could be reached to you. And if you are new to the channel, I would like to say that in this channel, I generally upload uh, videos about uh, C programming, data structures, algorithms and inspirational stories and talk shows, MATLAB videos also. Uh, so please uh, visit the channel, go to the playlist and watch all the playlists. So if you can, uh, if you think that any video would be beneficial for you, go and watch them, hit the like button and surely press the subscribe button guys. Please, uh, if you are watching the video, please hit the subscribe button. There is no need of any kind of money to subscribe. It's free. So don't worry. Just hit the subscribe button. So now let's talk about today's topic is comma operator within while loop. So before starting this, I would like to uh, show you one problem. Okay. So here, this is the problem. Hash include as your dot h integer main integer i equal to 0, j equal to 0 while i less than 7 comma i j less than 5 i plus plus j plus plus so can you guys uh, tell me about anything this uh, output what will be the output this is a very confusing thing means which one uh, how this kind of thing would be ev evaluated this is a very uh, confusing thing and uh, that's why i am making this video okay so what will happen actually so let's go to the slide again okay so in case of uh, comma operator if expression 1 comma expression 2 is there we all know that left to right associativity comma operator is having okay so what will happen that first of all the expression 1 would be evaluated and after that expression 2 would be evaluated and the whole thing within the bracket the whole expression okay the whole expression combining expression 1 and expression 2 the, the result of expression 2 would be returning okay by the whole statement okay that means what will happen expression 1 would be evaluated then expression 2 would be evaluated then uh, the value of expression 2 uh, would be the returning value okay so here what will happen expression 1 would be evaluated if it is true or not that doesn't matter okay after that uh, means yeah obviously matters if it is false false it is true true but it doesn't matter okay the cursor will go to this part okay and after that what will happen it will check either j is less or equal to 5 or not if it is true then the while statement would be evaluated otherwise not that means uh, in short I can, if i can uh, uh, summarize this thing that the, it doesn't matter how many operators how many expressions are here before uh, be, before the last expression okay the last expression the return value from the last expression actually matters if it is true or if it is returning one then these lines would be evaluated otherwise these these lines won't be evaluated for example uh, let's make it five and let's make it seven and after that let's run it so here you can see that seven comma seven is the output so how seven comma seven is the output here i equal to i equal to zero zero less than five and zero less than seven zero less than seven is true yes so one one okay now uh, after that again uh, i plus plus j plus plus post fix uh, increment then after that what will happen i equal to 2 j equal to 2 3 4 5 uh, 5 less than 5 okay 5 less than 5 is false but j is less than uh, j equal to 5 okay and 5 less than 7 which is true so this will be executed that's why i value has been incremented by 1 again uh, when j equal to 6 and i equal to 6 6 less than 5 false doesn't matter j le 6 less than 7 j j less than 7 which is true na? so both of the uh, statements will be executed and after that i will be having value 7 j will be having value 7 so 7 less than 7 is false okay here that's why the whole uh, while condition is false and after that the cursor will come to here and it will print the values which are 7 comma sorry 7 7 okay so in this way i can say now let's take this is 5 and this is 3 so how 3 3 3 3 will be the output 
here you can see that 3 3 is the output because uh, in the last expression when 3 less than 3 has come so it will be breakdown so the j i and j value won't be incremented more okay so in this way we can evaluate these things now let's go to the second problem okay here what is happening here i have uh, given while i plus plus i less or equal to 8 and after that semicolon and here i have give, uh, written that while i less or equal to 8 and then i plus plus so i have changed it now you can see that i have changed the order okay this one is first and this one is second and here this one is second and this one is first okay so what will be the outputs how we can uh, say that okay now here uh, let's talk about this first okay let's talk about this first okay i equal to zero okay while i plus plus this is a post fix expression so i equal to zero in this line okay so zero less or equal to eight yes less or equal to eight okay zero less or equal to eight okay yeah it is true then again i plus plus so one one equal to eight equal, uh, less or equal to eight yes two three four five six seven eight less or equal to eight yes so after that again it will be as here it is semicolon so there will be no um, statements after the condition is being true there is no statement to be executed so what will happen the cursor will be means the i value would be incrementing again and again again and again unless until uh, unless and until the whole statement would give the false result okay that means this the whole statement that means the second one as i have said in the earlier problem also the second one the last one uh, actually matters okay so 8 equal equal 8 a lesser equal to 8 which is true so 9 9 lesser equal to 8 which is not true then it will be breakdown the whole the loop will be breakdown and then printf in this line would be executed this line will be executed so the output value would be 9 here you can see that the output value is 9 in this way it works now let's talk about this so here i have changed the order so what will happen i equal to 0 yes i less or equal to it yes it is true i plus plus which is 0 it is not one no? uh, this is not prefix uh, increment this is postfix increment so here i value is zero that means the expression will returning zero and then in the next line the output will be one because postfix due to the postfix expression oh, sorry increment so let's run it so here you can see that this is the uh, output which is one so basically this, this is the this is the difference okay just uh, change the order of these expressions okay means before and after the comma operator and the outputs will be changing okay so this is the thing which i wanted to show this is a very important uh, means unique thing okay means most of the students uh, do not uh, aware about and uh, not aware about all these things that's why i thought that i should make this video found if you found this information useful so please subscribe the channel and share this video with your friends with your batchmates so that everyone would be aware about all these things and uh, share this video and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that every video could be reached to you in near future through notification so this much for today guys see you on the next video